I'm in New York. You'll be able to tell that by virtue of the background uh, noise, which may impede what I'm saying, and that's all to the good. It's Friday, December 2nd. Yesterday was a memorable day at the United Nations because Ban Ki-moon, the Secretary General of the UN, actually apologized. It's his last month of his lamentable tenure. He apologized for the failure of the United Nations in responding to the spread of cholera in Haiti. Let me tell you his exact words. The UN deeply regrets the loss of life and suffering caused by the cholera outbreak in Haiti. On behalf of the UN, I want to say very clearly, we apologize to the Haitian people. We simply did not do enough with regard to the cholera outbreak and its spread in Haiti. We are profoundly sorry for our role. 10,000 people died. Some 800,000 were infected. When I heard the apology, I thought it was quite remarkable that it was without precedent. It wasn't until I spoke to the co-director of AIDS Free World that I realized that I was attributing far more to the apology than it deserved. The United Nations had actually constructed the apology for Ban Ki-moon with that, with that reptilian duplicity to which they are addicted. You see, Ban Ki-moon apologized for the failure of the UN to respond to the spread of cholera in Haiti. He did not apologize for the UN's responsibility for cholera. He didn't apologize for the fact that UN peacekeeping troops had brought the cholera to Haiti. He did not apologize for hiding behind immunity for the last several years to avoid legal responsibility. He did not apologize for constructing his apology in a way to ward off any future transgressions by peacekeepers should victims bring legal action against the UN, as could possibly be the case of the victims with the peacekeeper sexual violence in so many countries. He did not apologize for the tissue of lies which has sustained the UN's response over the last six years. In any event, many, many people in Haiti, Haiti itself, quite uh, understandably, were excited by the apology, felt good about it, some people cried about it, and it is a step forward one has to concede. And now there will be a tremendous effort to gather the money together in order to compensate the families of the victims, that should be one of the priorities, and in order to repair the water and sanitation system to eradicate cholera forever from that little island state. And it will be led, as always, by that magnificent little band of lawyers and advocates from the Institute for Justice and Democracy in Haiti who have led this fight and brought Ban Ki-moon to his knees. That was last week. I'm Stephen Lewis.